My name is Rajiv Jose and I'm a hand surgeon working in Birmingham. Over the next few minutes, I would like to share with you my thoughts on managing dorsal hand injuries, especially the ones with associated extensor tendon and nerve injuries. Dorsal hand injuries are common and may occur from industrial accidents, DIY accidents or from knife crime. One of the challenges of managing these injuries is a management of the dorsal sensory nerve branches. These nerves, once repaired, may form painful neuromas or develop scarring, which can be painful under the thin dorsal skin. Over the years, I have adopted a technique of sheathing these repairs with a segment of vein. For the next few minutes, I would like to share some of my thoughts on repairing these wounds. The rationale for vein sheathing and my technique of doing it. When assessing patients with dorsal hand injuries, it is important to make a methodological examination of tendons and nerves. One starts by noting the location of the injury, which will give you a clue as to which tendons may be injured. Extensor tendons are arranged in six compartments and all these compartments should be examined if the injury extends across the dorsum. The nerve supply to the dorsum of the hand is from superficial radial nerve and the dorsal branch of ulnar nerve. When you examine these nerves, always compare with the other side and ask the patient to rate the sensations out of 10. Often, they report reduced sensations than complete lack of sensations. When you explore these wounds, start either over the radial or ulnar side. Check if the compartments have been breached and if so, whether the tendons are intact. Also check if there is a breach of the joint capsule. If there is, the joint has to be washed out. Repair of the extensor tendons can be done using any technique which one is comfortable with. I use a modified Kessler suture due to its simplicity and in many cases use the same suture to do a continuous suture when there is excessive tension in repair. This method, though can sometimes be a bit bulky, is a strong repair and is less likely to rupture. While repairing the dorsal nerves, I use a technique called vein sheathing. This is because the skin over the dorsum of the hand is thin and the scarring around the nerves can cause sensitivity and pain, which can be a problem. All cutaneous nerves are accompanied by veins and in many cases, these veins are also divided. Even if they are not, a small segment can be harvested without any morbidity. The vein segment is washed out and threaded over one end of the nerve. After the nerve repair, the vein sheath is pulled over the repair site and one microsuture is passed from the vein segment to the epineurium of the nerve. I have used this technique in over 25 dorsal nerve repairs and found that while the sensory recovery is not any different, scar sensitivity has been significantly less in these patients. I don't use it for larger nerves such as median and ulnar nerves where there is a thicker epineurium and more padding over the nerves from the palmar skin. Overall, it is a simple technique which is a refinement of the nerve repair technique which I have found useful.